Hi, I'm Dr. Shannon Ferguson and this is Move It or Lose It and today I'm going to be talking about foot health. Foot health is something that I've become very passionate about. I think they're very important and an often ignored part of the body. The health of your feet affects your ankles, your knees, your hips, and eventually your spine. And if they're weak, I think that all of the joints above them are not going to function optimally. Something that I think impacts foot health quite a bit is shoes. I don't think shoes are inherently bad by any means, but I think there are some aspects of modern footwear that are not as helpful as we think and can potentially be harmful. One of these things is a narrow toe box, so the end of the shoes being quite narrow, which causes your toes to drift inward permanently over time and causing things like bunions. The elevated heel that's in a lot of sports shoes and dress shoes mean that your ankles and all the joints above aren't going to be working with the same mobility and in the same way. And then lastly, really high support shoes. I think that they can be very helpful in short bursts, but I think over time it's making our feet weaker and less mobile because your foot doesn't have to work as hard because your shoe is doing it for you. If you haven't discovered toe spreaders yet, I highly recommend you go check them out. Um, they're a wonderful device. It's basically a piece of silicone that fits over top of your toes and spreads them out a little bit. And you can get ones that gradually can become bigger or you can get them in different sizes. So starting with a little bit less and then working up to your comfort level. Wearing them a little bit every day while you're challenging your feet is really important. So just sitting around wearing toe spreaders isn't gonna get the same result as if you're walking around or working out. I've been wearing toe spreaders for around 30 minutes a day during my workouts or just walking around for about four years now and I have noticed such a difference in my feet. Not only in the way that they look but also I have almost no foot pain and I used to have a lot especially in my big toe joints and now I have none. I've also noticed that my toes have straightened out and they're also more spread out when I'm just barefoot with nothing on and this is an indicator that my foot health is getting better and my feet are getting stronger. So I think toe spreaders are a really important part of holistic foot health and I think you're going to get a lot more results in terms of foot alignment and foot strength using toe spreaders than not. So to begin we're going to start off with stretches. I am doing a sole of the foot stretch first so I spread out my toes nice and wide and now I'm kneeling on the ground with my toes underneath my butt and I'm going to be leaning back to get the stretch right across the bottom of the foot. Remember that stretches shouldn't hurt, they should be a kind of pleasant discomfort, so if it hurts, wiggle around or come out of it a little bit. In this video, I'm going to be holding all of the stretches for around 30 seconds. You can hold it for longer if you'd like, but definitely not shorter. And here I just needed to wiggle around a little, so if you feel like you've lost the stretch or you need a little bit of a different stretch, feel free to wiggle. The next stretch is the tibialis anterior and the top of the foot. So I'm bending my toes underneath me and then pointing my toes and straightening my knee. I feel this all across the front of my shin and then down into the top of my foot and top of the toes. So again, holding it for 30 seconds. And then switching to the other foot. So same thing, leg out a little bit in front of you, tuck your toes underneath your foot and then straighten the knee until you feel a stretch across the front of the shin and the top of the foot. If you start feeling a stretch that's good enough without completely straightening your knee, that is totally fine. Feel free to stop there. Next, we're going to be working out the foot by scrunching a towel with your toes. I'm doing it once each side, but you can do it multiple times if you'd like. So I'm just trying to bunch up the towel with my toes. straightening it out and doing it on the other foot. Again, you can repeat this section if you'd like. It's a really good strengthening exercise for the bottom of the foot. Mm -hmm. 
And the third section I've put on my toe spreaders and I'm showing you. They're clear so it's kind of hard to tell. But this is my favorite exercise for the foot and everything that supports the foot. It's standing on one leg. Start with 30 seconds, although in this I'm doing a minute, I believe. And then go up to five minutes. So this will work the bottom of the foot, your ability to balance, and I feel it the most in my hip, actually. I like this exercise the best with toe spreaders because then you're working out your foot in the alignment that it's supposed to be in. I think it really elevates this strengthening exercise. So if you have them, make sure that you use them. So I've cut off the top of my head apparently. It's fine. We don't need heads in this video. All right, and then we're switching over to the other side. So plant the foot, make sure your toes are nice and wide, your base of support is nice and wide, and then lift up the other leg. Again, we're balancing on each side for a minute in this video, but you can do longer if it's comfortable, or you can do shorter if you can't do a minute yet. Goal number one of this exercise is to just not fall over. So don't do that. As you can see, I'm wiggling around a little bit. That's working balance, and it's also working all those little muscles on the bottom of the foot, strengthening each one of them. Okay, next we're going to be doing calf raises. So I've got my toes pointing out slightly and then I'm just coming up onto my toes. So your balance has to be a little bit forward in your foot for this exercise. Pause at the top of the calf raise and then slowly come down. With any body weight exercise, going slow is key. That's where the challenge and the strength is going to come from. And this is what it looks like from the side. So I'm planting my feet, my weight is a little bit forward in my foot, and then coming up onto my toes. The next exercise is going to be uh, an extension of this one. So we're gonna be doing squats with a calf raise at the top of the motion. Squats are really important for foot health because hips and feet are very, very connected. So here we go. So I'm planting my feet a little bit wider, so right underneath the hips, hinging at the hips with the butt going back, and at the top, a calf raise. Balance comes into this exercise as well, so if balance is an issue for you, make sure you have a chair or something nearby to catch you if you need it. When you're coming back into the squat, your weight is in your heels, and then when you come into the calf raise, it's more in the ball of your foot. So make sure that your weight is being distributed across your foot throughout the exercise correctly. You can do these exercises longer than I did in this video. I don't think I did them for very long. So feel free to pause and keep going if you'd like to. And that's the end of the strength portion. Thank you for watching my video on foot health. I hope that you learned something and I hope that you went out and bought toe spreaders immediately. If you like this video, please subscribe to get more updates on stretching and pain-free living.